Hi everyone, I'm going to be reading you a story today from the Bible and this story is in the Old Testament in the book of Exodus and it's, a, it's part of what the adults are doing in church when they're on church online at the moment and it's about the Israelites crossing the Red Sea. So this story is found in Exodus chapter 13 and it goes all the way to chapter 17. But the story I'm reading you today is a little bit shorter so we can understand it a bit better. So I'm reading from this Bible, the Lion First Bible. If you've got it at home, you can find the story on page 110. If not, try and find it in a different Bible that you've got. Um, this story starts with a big party. And we're not having parties at the moment because we've got to all keep apart from each other to stay safe and well. So we, are, we hopefully will have a party when all of this is over. But this story picks up from a story that Andrew and Hope told a few weeks ago, where God's people, the Israelites, escaped from Egypt after the te God sent 10 plagues to make Pharaoh let his people go, let God's people go. So this story happens, str starts straight after Pharaoh has said to Moses, you can take your people, you can take the Israelites out of Egypt. So here we go called the big adventure there was a great big noisy party everyone sang and danced it was the best party ever god's people were safe at last safe from the king of egypt thank you thank you god they sang and they danced when they left egypt the people had to walk all the way they took their pots and pans and food and clothes and blankets they had to carry everything. They didn't have cars or moving vans or anything like that. They had to carry it all on their backs. All their sheep and goats and cows went too. The big boys and girls took care of them. Shoo, shoo, hurry, hurry, they said. But the sheep would stop to nibble the grass. The goats would stop to chew the leaves. The cows would stop to drink the water. Hurry, hurry. The little children soon got tired. Their mothers and fathers had to carry them. Hurry, hurry, they said. We aren't safe yet. And they weren't safe yet. For the king sent his soldiers chasing after them. Can you see the soldiers right in the background there? But God was with his people. God was showing them the way. God was keeping them safe. They reached the water. It was far too wide to cross and the soldiers were catching them up. What would they do now? That night, God sent a wind. It blew and blew and it drove the water away, split it in two. Next day, the people walked across where the water had been. But God did not let the soldiers follow them. I bet where that water had been was really muddy and really sticky for them to walk through. And it was quite a long way. It was like walking from Dover all the way to France. Quite a long way to walk. The people were safe on the other side. That's why they danced and sang. Thank you, thank you, God. They were going to a land of their own, the land God promised. They were on a journey, a journey through the desert, a journey through the mountains, a long, hard journey. But God was going with them. God would show them the way. Just like God's with us at the moment when it's all a, bit, a little bit strange and sometimes a bit scary. God's with us and showing us the way as well. But that night they put up tents to sleep in. The next day they took them down again and moved on. They had to find food for the animals. They had to find water. When they found a good place, they put their tents up again. It was hard to keep moving on. Soon the food ran out and the people were hungry. They grumbled at Moses. I know when I'm hungry, I get really grumbly and really grumpy. Maybe you do as well. We had plenty of food in Egypt, they said. God will give you food, Moses answered. That night, a flock of little birds flew in. They had come a long way, so they were tired and easy to catch, and the people had meat to eat. In the morning, 
The ground was covered with frosty white flakes. They tasted like biscuits made with honey. Delicious. People called this new food manna. Soon the water ran out and the people were thirsty. They grumbled at Moses. Again, we had plenty of water in Egypt. God will give you water, Moses said. Then he hit the rock with his stick and good fresh water came out. For every day of the journey, God gave the people manna to eat. For every day of the journey, God helped the people find water. And God took care of his people all the time. And at this time, when it's a bit scary and we might feel like we've got people after us and the coronavirus and we're all a little bit worried, we've got to remember that God's taking care of us as well. We might feel like we're in the middle of that Red Sea at the moment, but we've got to trust that God is going to take us out of that sea and take care of us and lead us back to a safer land and a safer time. I hope you're all looking after yourself. I hope you're all staying safe and well. I miss you all lots. See you soon. Bye.